Well, I'm a little loud for the mic. I said, good morning, church. Good morning. How is everybody today? Good. Great. Amen, amen. How is everyone today? I can't hear the ladies in the back. They were all yelling earlier and they can't yell today. How you guys doing today? Vicky, how you doing today? You good, you good. I got my twins in the back. Uh, <laughs> um, I was told to do some welcome, so let's pray. Let's start with a prayer and then we can get right into it. Um, dear Lord God, thank you for another beautiful day, Lord. Uh, yesterday was all cloudy and rainy, but today your Sabbath, you've uh, created it and we uh, find fulfillment and joy in it, Lord. And that's why we come and congregate ourselves today, Lord, so that we can worship you, Lord, because you are good. You are good, Lord. Um, continue to be with us and continue to allow us to follow your will, Lord. Your will be done. Your will be done in all things, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. So I was reading the Bible in Galatians 3, verse 28. If you uh, can flip your uh, scriptures or your phones, um, it says, There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there a male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Amen. If you belong to Christ, you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So I, I was giving that some thought, and I was like, all right, I got to do welcome, Lord. How is this going to happen? And I just want to welcome you to, and even if you're there already, it doesn't matter. I just want to welcome you to the body of Christ. Amen. Um, because he's there for you. Like, he's, he's there for you. No matter what, he'll help you out. He'll bring you through things. I was uh, going, I was traveling from work to Market Basket for lunch. And uh, as I'm traveling, there's like a bridge. And there were, and I, look, I have nothing against anybody, okay? But there were a whole bunch of Trump supporters. And they were yelling, like blowing their heads off, yelling. They had their signs. And... Everybody's going through it, but I don't know who's in the car. I don't know, whatever. And, but I did feel a little uncomfortable going through. I'm not going to lie, I did. Um, and then when I saw their eyes, like, because I, I pay attention a lot to um, people's physical um, appearance, like what they do with their body, like their body emotion. So I look at their eyes, and then they look at me, and it's, 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 it's not love. I'm, I'm looking for love. Right, so they 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 have they, they have their own congregation. I'm looking for love, but like I don't see any love, so I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna drive through here. The church of God can't be like this. When when we see others, we need to welcome them, just like we're welcoming you today. And everybody is able to practice this. And once we do practice it, then we'll see more and more blossoming. And but. We want to praise God that we're here today. Amen. So praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. This this morning uh, we are in the mo in the moment of prayer. Um, the, we are about to uh, read the, the scripture reading for our sermon this morning. Uh, it, it is found in Psalm fifty one, verse nine and ten, and it says, "Hide your face from my sin, and blot out all my iniquities." Verse ten tells us, "Create." me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Amen. And may God bless his scripture. And before we pray, we are going to sing our song. Pass me not, O gentle Savior, in my heart.
for the opportunity that you're giving us this afternoon to be at your feet, to be inside your church, Father God. There are multiple individuals right now that do not have this opportunity. And we want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We do not deserve this. But if for one thing that's called grace and mercy, Father God, grace and mercy, these two things are the reason why we are here today. And we want to thank you, Lord. Thank you for everything that you've done in our lives. Sometimes we are so ungrateful. Uh, we do not show love to others, Father God. Just like um, our Brother Babel said, sometimes we we instill fears and in, 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 uh, uh, in so many evil things that we project toward our uh, neighbors, Father God. And this morning we are asking you to please send your Holy Spirit, not only in this place, but that it may get deep into our hearts and that today we will be transformed into the living that you have always wanted us to be, Father God. Be with us, be with the pastor as uh, he is going to speak with us this morning, but we know that the words will not be coming from him, but from you, Father God. Be with us, bless us once again. Forgive us of all of our sin. There are many people that are not here with us. They are ill. Some of them, they are at the hospital or at home. May you touch them at this moment, Lord. And may you touch all of our problems, all of our issues. Father God, please help us. Teach us to trust in you, Father Amen. God. So that it doesn't matter how things look. We know that you are always in control of everything. Amen. Amen. Lives, Father God, be with us. Bless us once again. And in Jesus' name. We pray you. Amen. Amen. Another day to praise Him, Amen. Amen. So this afternoon we are going to give Him praise. Um, you know, there's not too many of us in, in here because of uh, COVID, but we know a lot of you guys are at, at home, and I want you guys to sing with us and give God the praise and all the glory. One of the things that we do at this church, we understand that we are not professionals, but we are professionals in praising God, Amen. Amen. We are not professionals into harmonizing and. and all of that stuff. Actually, this is not our number one priority. Our priority is when we're done, we know that we give Him everything. We left nothing on the floor. Amen? Amen. So this Amen. morning we are going to come together. We're going to sing Him. We are going to sing to Him and praise Him. And then our song is in the When we walk with the Lord in the light of His word, what a glory He sheds our way. This is in the, in the English hymnal. So uh, we tried it last night, but we're going to try it again. Okay? That was like I put there you go. Oh, 
Amen. Amen. So our next song, again, I want you guys to sing it with us. He said, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Mm. Open the eyes of my heart because we want to see Jesus. Amen. 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 So we're all going to sing with your heart and your mind is the same. Come on. Everybody clap your hands like this. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Come on. Come on. Are you ready to sing? All right, let's go.
Amen. 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 We are so happy to see uh, to have uh, to see Sister Rachel. Good to see you. And some of our friends um, in the back, I would not mention your name. And so many other people, uh, thank you for coming. And at this point, we are ready for Pastor uh, Unal Jabatis. Um, uh, he's here. We are very fortunate to have him Amen. with us. Uh, so I know that the Lord has a wonderful message that he will be carrying for us. Amen. 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 Good morning, Bedell. Good morning. We greet you in the name of Jesus. Okay. Know that the Lord has a message for us today. And uh, we plan to, to receive it with uh, a new heart. Amen. 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 Yes. Uh, at this time, uh, I want to sing uh, a song before I present my message. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The Lord is good. Yes, yes. Amen. All the time. Yes, yes. And all the time. It's even better. Is even better. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes.
Hallelujah. And they touched me. I don't know if he touched you, but he touched me. Amen. And he made me a new person. Yes, sir. Amen. He touched me and he changed my heart. Yes, sir. Amen. He touched me and he fixed my heart. Yep. Amen. <laughs> yes. He touched me and gave me a brand new heart. Yes, Amen. sir. Amen. So if you see me walking around, huh. I am not the same. Which one? Praise the Lord. Because I've got a new heart. Amen. Amen. And don't be jealous. Which one now? <laughs> hmm. Don't be jealous because he made me whole. That's right. Amen. Yes. And this morning, I want to concentrate on uh, the heart. Yes, sir. Because we all need a new heart. Amen. In order to do God's will. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And uh, I'm reading. Uh, Psalms 51, verse 9 and 10. Don't keep looking at my sins. Remove the stain of my guilt. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Right on. Verse 10. Create in me. A clean heart, O oh God. Yes, sir. And renew a right spirit within me. Amen. 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 Create in me a new heart. <laughs> Let us pray. Amen. Father God, as uh, we speak, Take full control of our mouth. May we lift God and God alone. And may we contemplate His power of change in our heart. Amen. Amen. Yes, we've chosen to speak about the heart and uh, because uh, uh, the heart is the center of, of life. Uh, and and, and we, we need to understand that, that in order to have uh, a good relationship with God, we, give, we need to have a new heart in order to have that kind of uh, relationship uh, uh, with Jesus, we need a new heart, uh, and to have a new heart, we need a, 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 a doctor, and to have a doctor, we need the right doctor. We cannot have any kind of doctor. The doctor that we need for this change, this kind of change, is more than a physical doctor. It is both a physical doctor and a spiritual doctor. Now for the spiritual doctor works deeper than the physical doctor. The spiritual doctor goes deeper into your soul. The, physical, the spiritual doctor makes sure that you are really renewed. You could have a physical heart, a new physical heart, and you're still not the complete because the spiritual is not done. But let me tell you this morning that we have a doctor. Yes, amen. For the surgery that we are about to experience, we have a doctor. Yes, we have a doctor that can do the job. We have a doctor that is able to do the job. We have a doctor who has the experience of the touch to the heart. He knows where to go. He knows what to touch. He knows how to handle it. He knows how to transform it. He knows how to make it whole. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, uh, Dr. Jesus uh, is available 24-7. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. 
If you don't have access to him, let me know. I can lead you, I can advise you uh, to the right doctor and how to reach him. Uh, to remember and appreciate Christ's sacrifice of our sins, for our sins. It's time to reflect on Jesus. It's time, it's a time to examine ourselves. Yes, examine ourselves and know and admit that what is wrong with us. Uh, see, you cannot have uh, surgery, you cannot have uh, a doctor to fix you if you do not admit that you are sick. You must come to the doctor and tell him you know that you're sick and you need help. Amen. 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 Time to examine ourselves. Uh, it's a time to ask uh, uh, the cardiologist, Jesus Christ, uh, to give us uh, a heart exam. Like David asked uh, in, in, in Psalms uh, 139. 23 and 24. Psalm 20, 139. Can someone read it for me, please? Psalms 139. 23 and 24. Yes. 139. 139. Alright, 23, 24. Search me, O God. Search me, O God. And know my heart. Try me. And know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. And lead me in the way everlasting. Search what? Search, me. Search our heart. Yes. The examiner needs to check your heart. Before he operates on you. The examiner needs to know what is wrong. The examiner needs to see what is wrong. With his, with his uh, 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 machine. And, and he has uh, his way of finding out uh, the details. Uh, the things that are not functioning. He needs to know the details. Uh, so he can know when he goes in. What is going to replace. Uh, what is going to place for you. And make you a new heart. Amen. Every single one of us need to ask God to check our heart and take our 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 uh, take out or fix the bad stuff in it. Amen. Amen. Our hearts uh, our hearts are sinful. Uh, that's why we need the, the 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 greatest cardiologist in the world. Yes, uh, in the world, Jesus of Nazareth, to examine us uh, constantly, to examine us uh, deep, 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 uh, until he lays hand on uh, what needs to be fixed. Uh, some of us uh, need to ask uh, Dr. Jesus uh, uh, to remove uh, uh, the blood clot uh, of sin. Amen. Amen. The blood clot of sin. Uh, we need to ask him uh, to fix uh, the broken arteries of jealousy and envy. Amen. Amen. Jealousy and envy. Uh, yes, uh, he needs to check uh, and fix uh, the leak of criticism. Come on, people. Uh, some of us have uh, the leak of criticism. And it's uh, 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 holding us back from growth, uh, spiritual growth. Uh, and we need to stop criticizing uh, so that uh, 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 the atmosphere uh, uh, can be positive. Uh, the critics uh, that you do, when you do it too much, it affects you. <laughs> it affects you uh, because uh, to be a, a, a negative critic 
uh, 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 you, you don't speak positively. You always criticizing. You always pulling people down. You always finding fault in people and and people that are like that. They themselves are never happy. Mm. Are you there? So the lick of criticism needs to be eradicated, uh, replace, uh, he needs a doctor, needs to replace uh, uh, the valve of uh, medicine and hypocrisy, hypocrisy uh, and, and gossip uh, uh, will not take us anywhere. Hypocrisy and gossip uh, will all only destroy our soul and we need to grow in the Lord. Uh, the, uh, at this time, we need to grow in the Lord. Amen. While the pandemic is doing its job, we need to be doing a job for the Lord. Amen. We need to be seeking the Lord. We need to be remain. We need to remain in contact with God uh, because uh, sooner or later, one of us is gonna go. We need to be right with God. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, we place uh, uh, the the valve of. Uh, Gossip and hypocrisy. Uh, uh, he needs to construct uh, the, the 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 wicked vessel of just and uh, of lust and adultery. Uh, he needs to do what? He needs to fix the wicked vessels and the lust uh, of uh, uh, adultery and fornication. Uh, these are things that need to be fixed. These are things that need to be removed. These are things that need to be eradicated. These are things that uh, uh, we need the doctor to uh, operate on us uh, in order to make us where, put us where we need to be. Uh, and number six, he needs to replace the, uh, the bad and thick blood of hatred. Mm. Woo! Mm. The bad and... Thick blood of hatred. Hatred. Oh man, I'm telling you, when when you are hateful, you are not a nice person. When you are hateful, it's all over your face. It's one thing about things that you are, it's usually on your face. And you may not realize it, but when you are hateful, it's all over your face. And the same goes for people who are loving. Let a loving person enter the room, you will feel it and see it. Amen. And let a, a hateful person enter this place, you will feel it and you will see it. Because hateful people, they, dis, they, 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 no, 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 they release, they release a negative vibe. And the negative vibe is so powerful that, that the person can be way in the back and you feel it up front. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which one? Anyone. Mm. Either love or hate. Mm. Hatred. If the hateful person is in the back, you will feel it up front. If the loving person is in the back, you will feel it up front. Because the vibration is there. Mm. <laughs> yes, the vibration, it is very powerful. And so we need the doctor to fix us. Right. And we need yes. to admit if we are hateful, yes. that we are hateful yes. so that we can get help. Amen. If we are hateful, we need to say yes. we are hateful to the Lord. Yes. And so that God can intervene on our behalf. So that God can come in and do something for us. And God is able because he's done it before. Yes, he's doing it now. Yes, and he will do it in the future. Amen. 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 
Yes, yes, yes. We place the, the, the thick blood of hatred. Uh, and he needs to remove and replace the aorta of self-deception. Mm. And the ventricle of uh, arrogance. Mm. Uh, that's pumping deceptive blood of pride to our head, making us feel that we are better than everybody else. Mercy. 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 We need to know that we are no better than anybody else. That's right. The only person who is better is Jesus. Amen. Amen. We all are the same. That's right. And we all are struggling yes. to reach to God. Yes. We all are the same. Yes. We all have sinned yes. and come short yes. of the glory yes. of God. Amen. We need to touch God. Yes. We need God to touch us. Yes. We need a change in our lives. Yes. And the only person who can do that change is Jesus of Amen. Nazareth. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, um, he, the, 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 the septum uh, uh, of uh, skepticism has to go. He needs to eliminate uh, the inferior vena cover of doubt. Mm. Doubt-filled people. Yes. But some of us, we doubt everything. Mm -hmm. And we are so <laughs> doubtful that we even doubt our own selves. <laughs> we doubt ourselves. And we're not confident. Uh, when you are not in the Lord, you are not confident. Mm -hmm. If you are very doubtful, you know that you are not in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because anybody who is in the Lord is very confident. Amen. They do not doubt. Uh, they, conf they, they, they have their confidence in God. And so they, they have to move. They move forward. They don't know where they're going, but they move in the name of Jesus. And they move by the power of the Holy Spirit. They move with the help of God. They move and they're not doubtful. Will I go? The doubtful people. They have something, they have a mission to execute. Uh, can I go? Will I go? Will I be successful? Will I this? Will I that? You will never make it. Mm. Mercy. If you keep on doubting, you need to trust God and move forward. Amen. Amen. You need to trust God and execute what you have to do yes. uh, and do it well. Yes. Because Jesus is on your side. Yes, Amen. 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 <laughs> That's good news. Amen. Jesus is on, our side. on your side. Yes, oh yes. Uh, somebody need to ask Jesus to fix his broken heart. Mm. You have a broken heart. You are broken hearted. Mm. Come to Jesus. Amen. Come to Jesus. And if your heart is uh, too weak and you can't handle uh, the problems of, of, and the difficulties uh, uh, that you are facing in your life, uh, 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 at work, uh, in your family, or even uh, in the church, you might, uh, you might just need to ask Jesus for a peacemaker. Hello. You might ask Jesus for a pacemaker of endurance, a pacemaker of perseverance, a pacemaker of trust, <laughs> and stick to itness. Yes, you need a pacemaker uh, that will that will sustain Amen. life. In you. Amen. Yeah. And many people that are walking around uh, in God's church need a pacemaker. Amen. Because uh, problems uh, and difficulties will not just disappear. 
Problems will always be there. Problems will multiply. Problems will, will never stop. And so you need to have a strong heart. You need to have a good heart. You need to have, uh, if your heart is in trouble, you need to have your pacemaker so that when the shock comes, wants to stop it, wow. the pacemaker kicks in wow. and keeps you going. Amen. Oh, come on, say amen. Amen. They say amen. And because the pacemaker will do the job and do it well. And I would love to say that the pacemaker is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. Holy Spirit. Christians who quit have a weak heart. You need to be strong in your faith to hold on to God in every circumstance. Be strong and hold on to God in every circumstance. That's very important. Be strong. Be strong. Don't allow your heart to be weak. You know, my brother is a heart patient. I am also. <laughs> but uh, 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 I think uh, there was a time where his heart was functioning at 20%. 20 percent. That's very dangerous. That's why you know you have to have something. Something to to, to watch. Oh that when it's getting on the way to stop, it can give him that boost. Amen. 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 Yes. I am also a hard Christian. But thank God I don't have a pacemaker. Uh, but the Lord has been right there for me. Amen. 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 If it wasn't for uh, the pacemaker, uh, uh dear friends, uh, uh, the pacemaker of perseverance, uh, some of you would have quit already. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so we need to keep uh, thanking God for His Holy Spirit. We need to keep thanking God uh, uh, for the work that He's doing in us. We need to keep thanking God because without Him, where would I be? Without him, where would you be? Yep. Yes. Uh, right now I'm telling you, uh, my brother had surgery and uh, and after the surgery they they found out that they couldn't they couldn't um, close his chest. They had to allow him to remain open. But the problem is, when you leave the patient open like this, <laughs> most of the time, the patient does not make it. Mm. It's a swelling of the organs after surgery that prevents the doctors to close the chest. So when we learn that his chest remained open, we started to pray. Yes. And I remember we were in the midst of a 40 days of prayer. We lifted him up every day. Yes. Because the doctors say, usually these people don't leave. Yes. So everybody had their fingers crossed, uh, hoping that something will happen, the Holy Spirit will come in yep. and, 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 and cause the, 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 the swelling to go down, and so they would close him up. Hmm. And lo and behold, I think after three days open, it went down. Amen. And they were able to close him Amen. up. Amen. 
Yes, sir. Oh, dear friends, I'm telling you, if you've never been there, mm -hmm. you need to ask people who have been there. You know, the heart patient is a terrible thing. And, 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 and uh, I'm telling you, if you see them walking around with activities, you may say, praise God. Amen. Amen. Yes. After my surgery, I thought uh, that I would never be able to, uh, to be alive uh, the way I used to be. But God helped me to remain yes. uh, alive, yes, sir. Amen. active. Yes. You know, there are, there are things that the people who go through my surgery can't do. Uh, there are people who come through my surgery and, and that, uh, that remain on a wheelchair. Mm. But I'm telling you, I am never on a wheelchair. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 I went to surgery and uh, I, I suffered. Uh, and, and, and the surgery uh, was done and a lot of people did not think that I would have made it. Uh, but uh, thank God, after uh, they work on me, they operated on me, and they replaced four arteries. Wow. Oh, sorry, my wife is there, <laughs> and she said five. <laughs> we always forget. <laughs> well, we are very thankful for the wives. Amen. And, uh, they, they never forget. They nope. have the... <laughs> and that's why I, I respect women. That's right. And because they have they are a special species. Very true, bro. And, 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 and we need to open the parenthesis right now. Yes, sir. And, and let everybody know that the women they are very important. That's right. Amen. In our lives, Amen. our women uh, have oh, this what? schedule. Yeah. You you forget your birthday, they don't. Oh, yeah. uh, you forget uh, the anniversaries, they, they don't. don't. That's right. You forget all. <laughs> kinds of things uh, you forget to take your medicine they don't That's right. uh, you you forget to you forget to eat <laughs> they, they don't <laughs> you are always reminded That's to come right. and eat right yes. oh yes and so it's a blessing yes it is. it's a blessing god did not make a mistake mm -hmm. by creating women nope. uh, and, and that's why i hate men who mistreat the shame, women. Shame, shame. I said hate. Yep. Yep. Because uh, this is a partner that you need to be thankful That's for. Right. <laughs> That's not my message, but uh, <laughs> let me linger a little on that uh, on, to let you know that uh, a, a woman needs to be cared for. Yes, sir. A woman needs to be protected. Yes, sir. And a woman uh, needs to be elevated. That's right. Woman, uh, if you treat her well, you will receive the reward. That's right, brother. Yeah. You mistreat her, you receive the reward. Yeah. And I, let me tell you, while you are young, you are mistreating your wife. But remember, when you get old, she will take vengeance on you. Mm. And I'm telling all the men that are mistreating their wives now because you are young, but be prepared. Mm to receive your reward when you are getting old <laughs> and when you have a stroke and then she says, sit up! <laughs> and, 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 and so, <laughs> and then, uh, move to the right. <laughs> yes, but if you did treat her right and, 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 and when you have a stroke, she will say, darling, yes. don't worry. Yes. God is with you. Yes. <laughs> she will pamper you. That's why I respect my woman. Right. And I'm very thankful. Amen. Eh? Anything that she does for me, thank you, yes. dear yes. darling. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Even if she saw something that she did for me, but I thank her. <laughs> <laughs> so her, 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 
watch fell down, she picked it up and said, thank you. <laughs> That's for her. <laughs> but I want to be always thankful, <laughs> appreciative of my wife, and let her know that I love her all the time uh, for the things that she does for me, because I'm getting old. <laughs> I am 63 years old, and, and, and soon I, I will need some more help. <laughs> and right now, I'm giving the best that I can give so that uh, I don't get uh, sit up, <laughs> sit up, move forward. <laughs> they're not me. They're not me. But uh, they remember because uh, the women never forget. And uh, let's get back to our message. <laughs> the message is. Uh, the heart needs to be fixed. And the only doctor we need is Dr. Jesus. Yes, I went to surgery and they fixed me up. They took my heart. They fixed the heart. They cut a, a, a vein in my leg. And, 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 and they tried to split it in four, in five. And uh, that vein was not good. So they had to go to the next leg and pull another vein and put it in five pieces to replace the arteries that were blocked. So you guys take care of yourselves so you don't have to go through surgery. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I suppose after they finished the job, they had to give it an what? The push. Electric shock mm -hmm. to get it moving back again. Amen? And I guess they, they do, 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 stopped. I don't think it happened right away. And I think they gave uh, another shock. Doom! Questioning, is it gonna keep on doing that or is it gonna keep on going? You know, <laughs> the doctors are not Jesus, mm -mm. Uh, they are human beings and they have to count on Jesus. Mm. But you see, my heart was a heart that is monitored by God, amen. And so it had to go. And I think the third amen. time they do, and I went. And it kept on going until now. And so if you see me moving, say praise the Lord with me. Because God did a miracle in my life. God touched my heart. God fixed my heart. And now I'm alive for Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. We're finishing now. There are certain things that are happening today. And that... That many of you would have a heart of heart attack. Eh? Had it not been uh, for the pacemaker of faith, had it not been for the pacemaker of trust and belief uh, that no matter what happens, God is in control. Oh, this uh, is still God's church. Uh, this is still. Uh, God's world, he is in charge. He is in charge of the world. He is in charge of his church. He is in charge of you individually and collectively. He has the last word. And one day he will put an end to all the mess that is going on around the world. Today and your heart will be fixed forever in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you.
Amen. I uh, cannot hear you. Amen. Amen. What a what a sermon! I think we've been blessed today since this morning, Amen. and we want to thank God for that. Our, as our last song, we are going to sing "He Touched Me" uh, before uh, uh, Pastor Jim Baptiste issued his uh, benediction. So we all we want you guys to please stand up, and we are going to sing "He Touched Me." Before uh, we would like to meet with the youth. Is that is that uh, what is after this? Yeah. Okay, so rather af after this, uh, uh, Brother Annecy, uh, the director, would like to meet with all the ladies after the church. Shackled by a heavy burden. Sins 
eliminating all grudges, eliminating all the negative vibes in it, and make it ready to receive your Holy Spirit, because soon and very soon, we are... He touched me, oh, he touched me. Come with us.